Hey folks, Pastor Jason Palmer from Faith Bible Church right here in Vineland, New Jersey with your encouraging word of the day from Ascend FM. Today our word is the word identify. Now when we think of the word identify, I have a wallet and every guy pretty much probably has a wallet. If you're a lady, you carry a purse with your identification in it. When you go to the store, you may have to show proof of your residence, so you show your driver's license, or you have your social security card, or, or many other forms of identification. But it identifies you, it tells you who you are, um, who the world says you are by numbers, and identifies you as a person. When you think about this from a spiritual perspective, I like to ask you a question, who do you identify with? Well, if we're followers of Jesus, if we are Christians, we would say we are followers of Christ. We identify with Christ. However, in many situations, our lives don't reflect that we're identified with Christ. There's a story in Genesis chapter 11, the Tower of Babel. And they formed their identification. The world at the time was in one area trying to build this tower to the heavens. And, and they, were, they were identifying with themselves. And there's a, there, there, there's a verse in, in that chapter that says they were trying to make a name for themselves. They were trying to make a name for themselves, not for God, but for themselves. They wanted to be known for something. Isn't that like how we are in our jobs, at our schools, on the, our sports teams? We want to make a name for ourselves. And God is always absent from that goal and from that plan. So the question I want to leave with you this morning is this. Do you identify with Christ? Is your life revolved around being identified with Jesus Christ? How you live, how you think, how you talk, the people that surround you, are they God-honoring? Are there individuals that you are living God-honoring lives around those people? The Bible tells us in Colossians chapter 3 that we are to set our minds on things above, not on things of earth. Our minds should be totally identified with the things of God, not the things of earth. Do not love the world, neither the things that are in the world. So I want to challenge you this week as you're driving your car, as you're at home, as you're in school, as you're at work, who do you identify with? Do you identify with the one that you bear his name as a Christian? Identify with Christ in how you live, how you think, and how you act. Continue to listen to more encouraging words on Ascend FM 107.7. God bless and have a great week.